you are now working from home. Have you ever considered buying a webcam? Before you do, make sure you try if your phone can do that. So this video, I'll show you how to do it. There are three main steps. Make your phone broadcast an IP signal. Make your PC receive that signal. Use an app. First, you're gonna install the app. This is the app I use. There are a lot of IP apps on phones that are free and they have a paid subscription or sometimes they have a one-time fee. This will help your phone broadcast an IP signal. Your phone should be plugged and it should be broadcasting an IP signal. Now, before you do this, make sure your phone is on a debugging mode. To do that, you have to go to developer options and make sure it's enabled and USB debugging is off. To do that, go to your settings on your Android and it's usually about and you have to click it seven or eight times and developer options will show up. Scroll to the bottom, developer options, enable it and look for USB debugging and make sure that's enabled. Install the app and open the app. Try start broadcasting. Now on the broadcast, there will be an IP that will be placed at the bottom of the screen. You get this IP, this is the broadcast signal. It is telling the world, this is me, this is my name. So first step, done. Second step is you're gonna need a way for your PC to harness that broadcast signal. So I use IP webcam, so I use this driver. You just Google it like this and use this driver, install that. You will just put the name or your phone IP into the computer. Put that in here. After you do that, you use an app. So the third step is I use OBS or I use Skype. How's the quality, guys? Is it better than your webcam? Those are the three steps, three major steps on how you're gonna set up your phone. Before we close, I'm gonna tell you why this works. Number one, the hardware on your phone is a lot better than on webcams because webcams uh, have a more distant connection to your CPU. Mobile phones, on the other hand, have a direct CPU processing unit that is usually SOC. The other one is hardware on the phone themselves are actually better, the sensors are better. A proper webcam would be around 3,000. Now, if you buy just a phone, you can buy a phone for like 6,000 and it could serve as your secondary phone, it could serve as a security phone, it could serve as a webcam as well. So hardware. Two software implementations, especially with phones, are cheaper. If you compare the price point of using a webcam to your PC, sometimes it's more expensive to do that and it's cheaper to use the phone route even if you paid for the phone app developers. Okay, just a couple of things that you need to remember before you do that. Make sure you have admin permission. You might want to seek permission from your company that you can do this. I hope that helped. If you want somebody to try this, share this video with them and <laughs> like the video. If you want to follow me for my shenanigans, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching.